today, as you know, home networking is primarily based on content that is inside the home. You know, you could be watching TV, you could be uh, picking up videos out of your storage box, you could be communicating with devices in the home. That is today's market. But the trends in this space is a lot and lots of convergence from the cloud, connectivity to the cloud, that's becoming more and more important. What we're seeing is social networking is getting integrated into the home, and that's becoming very important. Some examples. If you look at what Apple has done with iCloud, in the past, if you think about it, you use iTunes or whatever, but you download music and you physically store them in your laptop or in your NAS box. But tomorrow, with the introduction of services like iCloud, which is a cloud-based service that sits on the internet, you're able to connect over into the cloud and download stuff and listen to those videos, watch those videos from anywhere, sometimes from the home, sometimes from outside the home. So that link to the cloud is becoming very important from the home. There's a new spec coming out, 802.11 and AC. That is currently a enterprise technology, but this will be in the home as well pretty soon. This offers up to one gigabit per second. And this performance is needed for traffic that if you were to, for example, watch videos from the internet through Netflix or download things like uh, music from, uh, from, the, from the internet. Or um, <clears throat> you can also, for example, there's Fios type of services that you, where you get TV from the internet. So these high definition content that comes from the internet into your home and, it's, and you watch it from not just a single place like a t television, but on tablets, on mobile phones, on laptops. So this, re this pushes in a lot of traffic into the home. And, and all of that really gets centralized around an access point because from there it gets fanned out to the, to the end appliances. So this access points have to support a very high bandwidth and 802.11ac is a, is a high bandwidth uh, specification supporting as I said up to one gigabit per second. So we see that being a, a, playing a very critical role in, uh, in, in the home. Why do you need queue management in the home? If you're gonna have, if you're gonna watch videos, let's say you're gonna uh, you're downloading a Netflix movie and you're watching Netflix. At the same time, you're also downloading some music or there's a voice over IP connection to the internet through home and you're talking on the phone effectively. These three types of traffics have distinct characteristics. And they have their own quality of service requirements. In a video, you don't want a video to be jittery, for example, you don't want voice to crackle when you talk. So for that reason, you need hardware to separate out this traffic and treat them differently and have queues that prioritize different traffics in different ways. By doing so, you're able to get a good experience of video or your telephone or your or web browsing experience. And that is the reason you need hardware technology that offloads all this. And this is something that we see happening in the home. Typically, this was a very, very expensive enterprise technology. Now it has been consumerized, effectively commoditized, and it is being offered in the home. And Applied Micro, being an enterprise company traditionally, is able to bring that to home very, very smoothly and very cost effectively. Security is a very important aspect in, in the home, uh, particularly when, when you're accessing traffic uh, wireless. Um, there is a lot of chance for virus attacks, there's a lot of chance for um, uh, denial of service attacks. Having hardware acceleration that allows you to encrypt and decrypt packets um, at, at line rate or at one gigabit per second is very important. Uh, that's one thing that uh, Packet for Family uh, from APM does. There is also a, another important aspect of access points. Uh, what's called NAT, Network Address Translation. Um, this is where you are able to have multiple IP addresses at home, um, as, as it's called private IP addresses. 
having hardware that allows you to accelerate these things, NAT acceleration as it's called, in hardware itself so that you don't have to do this in software so you don't tax the CPU as much. Um, this is an important aspect of, um, uh, of an access point uh, solution. Uh, Applied Micro has developed solutions to address this particular component so that we, uh, we are able to process uh, 802.11 AC type of traffic one gigabit per second in the home. NAS is, a, is primarily a standalone home system today. Uh, network attached storage, where there's a disk connected to a USB, a USB drive or a network drive, but it is primarily home. There is no cloud component. Going forward, cloud is going to play a, a big role in NAS. So there, I, we see NAS being an extension to cloud and cloud being an extension to home NAS. So any content that's stored in the home, home NAS is going to be accessible from the cloud and anything that's stored in the cloud is going to be accessible in the home itself. So that tight integration, seamless access to your content is going to become key in the future. Applied Micro has actually been a leader in the NAS space. Um, we've had several tier one designs in this space, and in fact, this is our second generation of uh, hardware that we're developing, particularly to NAS. Um, in this environment, we have industry highest performance, um, 100 megabytes per second read and write performance. That means basically you could read uh, a movie or, a, um, or some data off of a drive at 100 megabytes per second. So that's a tremendous amount of speed to be able to read that type of, uh, the, to, to achieve that type of throughput. Um, Applied Micro has been a leader in this space primarily because it comes from our enterprise storage. This is, has been our mainstay in the past. Uh, and we have taken enterprise storage technology that we've had, RAID technology as well as um, a, a firmware and software that allows us to achieve this throughput and consumerized it, commoditized it. So we're able to offer the same technology that was only available in enterprise to the consumer space today. To be able to achieve high performance in NAS, you have to have TCP acceleration. That is one of the key components of NAS. Applied Micro has hardware that allows you to accelerate and offload TCP in hardware. And this allows us to achieve line rate. Typically, TCP offload is a transmit only uh, offload. This is what other companies have done. What, a unique thing Applied Micro has done and led the industry with is we, are, we do both receive and transmit offload. The benefits of TCP offload uh, or basically doing TCP packet processing in hardware which is what TCP offload is, the benefits of that is it relieves the CPU from doing that job. So it, it gives the CPU other things to do. Um, you can run other applications uh, on it. So this allows you to achieve high performance, high throughput, to be able to read and write packets out of a disk. The direction NAS is uh, tending towards is uh, being able to do transcoding um, within a NAS uh, box. So w what is transcoding? Transcoding is being able to take video of a certain format and convert it into a different format. For example, taking a 1080p and converting it to 720 and vice versa, and doing that inside the NAS platform, NAS hardware itself. That is uh, a trend that's, uh, that we're seeing more and more. A piece of content, you know, what you get from TV, for example, could be 1080p, but a laptop or a, uh, a mobile phone needs a smaller resolution, so you need to be able to transcode or downcode that resolution so that you are able to view it on these tablets and mobile phones, and that is important to be able to do that in the NAS box because there's not enough performance in these end systems to be able to do that. We're addressing both NAS and uh, access point market with our next generation Packet Pro solutions. We have exciting uh, chips coming out, uh, exciting system on chips that address these markets individually uh, very well. Uh, first and foremost, all of our chips, all of our platforms are software compatible, meaning 
if you have a software base that's that's been built on one technology such as NAS and you want to be able to reuse um, that and leverage data for an access point it's it, because the software is in fact identical for us um, it's very easily migratable from one to the other second uh, we are addressing this first thing we're a power PC based uh, house we're addressing this market with a very very sophisticated very well designed 1.2 gigahertz power PC that's the CPU that goes inside our inside of our SOCs we're also addressing these markets with um, next generation, best of breed IOs. USB 3.0 is the next generation stuff. Um, gigabit Ethernet running at line rate with um, accelerations uh, around it, such as classification engine, uh, queue management, traffic management, policing, shaping, um, all done in hardware. We've, uh, we've integrated all that into the Packet Pro. We're also addressing a bomb cost in, in, these, uh, in these chips very well. So one of the most important things uh, to take into account when you design an access point or a NAS uh, platform is bill of materials. How much do you spend on a piece of hardware, components that go onto that board? Packet Pro has integrated um, what typically is discrete chips, you know, PCI Express, Ethernet interfaces, uh, UARTs, um, uh, clocks that go outside, we've nicely integrated all that into a single chip. So what an end system vendor pays to build that board, which is called bill of material, is very, very optimized. Packet Pro has uh, power manage intelligent power management technology that uh, we have taken from the enterprise and, and consumerized uh, as with our networking technology. What Power man management allows us to do is to be able to bring down the power consumption of our SOCs to sub 250 milliwatts when the CPU is not really being used. So there's intelligence built in, logic built into the chips where it turns portions of the chip off, literally turns it off, powers it off, so that they're not operating when things are not being used. By doing that, we're able to bring the power consumption down all the way down to 250 milliwatts. With all these services entering the home, you need a more powerful SOC uh, in the home. Um, a, a very high performance CPU, lots of uh, hardware acceleration, uh, in, all integrated. And, and to be able to deliver good service and good experience to the end user. Uh, Packet Pro has done a fantastic job of integrating the right amount of offloads, the right amount of CPU at the right cost points, and that is the benefit of Packet Pro. Applied Micro is addressing connected home with enterprise class performance and features at consumer price points.